everyone. Tonight's book is one of my daughter's favorite, right? Never say no to a princess. Never say no to a princess. I know you did. Stop. You're going to help me? Today we have a friend, Tabby. Well, that's her nickname, but... Put her up so they can see. Her real name is... Tabitha. And when did you get her? Uh, yesterday. For Easter? Yeah. She's squishy. It feels like I got her like a thousand years ago. <laughs> you like her very much, don't you? Okay, so Never Say No to a Princess is by Tracy Corduroy and illustrated by Kate Leek. Okay, so Never Say No to a Princess. Here we go. The little princess wore a big, sparkly tiara and slept in a big, sparkly bed. Her big, sparkly wardrobe was bursting with sparkly dresses, and her toy box was filled with big, sparkly toys. Sparkly toys. Yes, it was. Okay. You see, the little princess got everything she wanted, but nothing ever seemed to make her smile. As you can see, there's all of her sparkly things, all of those toys, and all those sparkly dresses. But there she is, I'm right jealous. there, looking sad. Hmm. You're jealous? You want all those sparkly dresses? Megan likes sparkles a lot. Okay, here we go. Ice cream, she shouted. I want ice cream now, and it better be good, or else... I'll cry. Quick, said her daddy, who was busy being king, or else she'll cry. So she just had to scream for ice cream to get it. <laughs> so ice cream after ice cream was brought from the royal kitchens, but the little princess heaved a great big sigh. Too sticky, too drippy, yuck, too pink, she exclaimed. Mm. And look, You've forgotten the sprinkles. So all those ice creams, and not one of them is good enough. Would they be good enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> Would you eat them all? Mm, maybe this one. Megan thinks this one looks the best. I don't know. I kind of like that tall, tippy one. I'd try to eat it before it all fell down. <laughs> Ponies, bellowed the little princess. I want ponies now and make them good or else I'll cry. Quick, said her mommy, who was busy being queen, or else she'll cry. So pony after pony was led from the royal stables, but the little princess simply shook her head. Too frisky, too twinkly, yuck, too sweet, she cried. And that one doing ballet is a show off. So she wanted ponies, and her parents lined up all these ponies for her, but none of them were good enough. I'd take all of them. <laughs> Megan would be happy with any ponies, wouldn't you? I just want ponies. Then one morning at breakfast time, a big green dragon flew by. Dragon? yelled the little princess. I want that dragon now. Get it. Catch it. Now, now, or now, or else I'll cry. <laughs> Quick, said the royal servants, or else she'll cry. Swish, swish, swish went the royal nets, but the dragon just wouldn't be caught. So the little princess tossed back her head and took a deep breath. So there she is. She sees the dragon and she wants it, but they can't catch it. So they couldn't give her what she wanted. What's she gonna do? Cry. Cry. And cry. Right. There she goes. Oh boy. Well, you didn't read this. I'm going to. By lunchtime, a river of twinkling tears gushed through the big sparkly palace. By dinner time, it was an ocean. And by bedtime? I liked that too. So it made you know she was crying all day long, wasn't she? Yeah. So by bedtime, the palace went pop. Pop. So many tears, the whole thing filled up and the top popped off. 
I know you do. Whoosh went the gurgly water as it swept the little princess far, far away from home. There she goes, and the sign says, far, far away. She found herself all alone in a gloomy wood. Her tiara was bent, her dress was torn. She had never been less sparkly. I want my mommy and daddy, sniffed the little princess. Just then, she heard a swoosh in the dark night sky. The air above her head grew warm. And there, swooping down through the twinkly stars, there she is, and you can see there's a little hint about what is swooping through the sky. What do you think, Megan? I think it's the dragon. You think it's the dragon. The dragon. Dragon, bellowed the little princess. Take me to my mommy and daddy. The dragon raised an eyebrow. What's the magic word? The little princess thought for a moment. Hmm. Oh, yes, she said. Take me to my mommy and daddy now. That's not the magic word, said the dragon. Fine, said the little princess. I'm going to cry. And she did. So it looks like the crying and saying now does not work on the dragon, does it? Nope. The dragon dried her tears with one blast of hot air from his nose. Then he switched off into his cave and shut the door. The little princess was puzzled. Crying usually worked perfectly. She wondered what the magic word could be. Then she remembered a word she'd heard a very long time ago. So there she is, the dragon drying her tears and her thinking about what the magic word could be. I bet you know what the magic word is, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet you guys know what the magic word is. What do you think? I think everybody knows it. I hope so. She tiptoed up to the dragon's cave and tapped on the door. Will, will you take me to my mommy and daddy, please? Shivered the little princess. Certainly, smiled the dragon. But first, we need to get you warm and dry. So this time she used the magic word, please. The dragon lit a roaring fire and they huddled in the orange glow until the little princess felt much better. Time to go home, said the dragon. Yes, please, said the little princess. Did she use it again? Mm -hmm. She did. Look, they're having a nice fire and it looks like they might be roasting marshmallows. We like that. That's fun. Jealous. You're jealous. We really like roasting marshmallows, don't we? Mm -hmm. So back they flew through the starry night. Look at her. She's riding on the back of a dragon. Sounds fun. That does sound fun. I don't know. I think I'd be a little bit scared. I'm a little bit afraid of heights. Mm -hmm. I'm a lot afraid of heights. I would not ride on the back of a dragon. When the little princess awoke, the dragon was gone, but her mommy and daddy were so pleased to see her. Oh, but darling, gasped the queen, we don't have any sparkly things for you. The royal footman coughed politely and handed her a catalog. Your majesty's favorite, he said with a bow, sparkly things for princesses. What would you like, beamed the king? Necklaces? Carriages? Sparkly shoes? But the little princess didn't look very happy. So she's home and they're offering to buy her all new sparkly things, but she doesn't look very happy about it. I would. I'd like to invite a friend to play, please, said the little friend, said the little princess. A friend, said the king. A, a friend, said the queen, but there aren't any other little princesses for miles around. This is a special friend, said the little princess. So she wrote an invitation in her very best handwriting and a royal servant was set off to deliver it. I think I know who it 
Mm-hmm. You think you know? Mm-hmm. Who do you think? The dragon. Let's see. The little princess's special friend wasn't quite what the king and queen were expecting, and his table manners left a lot to be desired. But as they ate their sparkly tea, the king noticed something strange. Do you think, he said to the queen, that our little princess looks different? The queen peered through her royal binoculars. <gasps> Heavens, she gasped. You're right. Is she? No. Yes, cried the king. She's smiling. Is she yeah. finally happy? Apparently she didn't like the smell before. Nope, apparently not. Oh, look at the dragon. He's got a cupcake hanging off his tongue. And he's throwing donuts around. My goodness gracious. That's what the princess is doing. Mm-hmm. Is she throwing, I think she's throwing the cupcakes up to him, isn't she? Think so? This princess is a lot like me. Think so? Mm -hmm. And the little princess kept on smiling all day long. Like that. And that is the end. So what do you think, Megan? Could we learn anything from Never Say No to a Princess? We don't get, we don't always get what we want. Okay. That's not, sometimes that can make us sad, but we can't always get everything we want. That's true. Do you think we could learn that there's a good way to ask for things and a not so good way to ask for them? Yeah, please, say please and thank you. And what should we not do when we want say something? Say no. And cry about it, right? Yes. So we have to try our hardest, even when we're upset, to ask for things in a nice way and to try to handle it when maybe the answer might be no. All right. Tabby keeps on trying to run away. She keeps on falling. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. All right. So does Tabby like this one? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Say goodbye to the first graders.